Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome back to the channel, Beard of Darkness Book Reviews. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a video on amazing book ones and trilogies or sagas. Um, a lot of these I haven't completed, but nonetheless, they're still amazing book ones. So let's get into it, guys. This first one is a banger. It's a novella, so it's not a book one. It's called The, the Point Five, I guess, but it is The Bound and the Broken. Um, series and it's amazing it's called the fall by ryan cahill as soon as i was done with this i went and ordered of blood and fire which is actually the very first book um, so the novella has blown my mind it has it started with action it ended with action there's some people who are traitors and you can't trust them this takes place 400 years prior to the events that will be taking place in the first book. Uh, that's what I understand. And I did a lot of research before I started this series and reading the novella first is totally cool. In fact, I'm glad I did it that way. So going into book number one, I know the history. History is so important, I think, to build a series and for it to not only be good now, but for a reread later or for just in the history of the fantasy genre, I think that this will be one of the most epic series ever. I honestly believe that. And for a self-pub author, what a accolade, something, what an accomplishment. Ryan Cahill, um, keep doing what you're doing. And all of that is why The Fall, even though it's just a novella the prequel to a huge series is my number five spot on top book number ones in trilogies or sagas now at the number four spot we have children of time by adrian tchaikovsky and it is amazing it tackles big ideas it's got the saving of the earth's population they're cryogenically frozen. It's also got a lot about evolution. It's got a lot about spiders and them evolving to a crazy stage in evolution that, that I don't know is, it, it's really fun to, to read about. Um, like I said, most of these ideas in this book and the rest of the trilogy, the Children of Time trilogy is big ideas and they're fun to read and i'm not huge on sci-fi i do love it but i'm not huge i'm i'm really into fantasy but i do love a good sci-fi from here every now and then so this was my big sci-fi read last year and i really really enjoyed it very good book one children of time by adrian tchaikovsky all right we're to the the top three guys sitting at number three for me is going to be the Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie. What a, a perfect, grim, dark, hilarious. I'm telling you, no, nobody's ever made me laugh out loud. And I read a lot when I'm going to bed with my wife and I'll just burst out in laughter and she's just like rolling her eyes. But Joe Abercrombie, it's like he wrote this humor for me. And I'm actually on book number two now and it's really good also, but this, was like an epiphany and awakening for me reading Joe Abercrombie. As I'm sure a lot of you, it was the same experience. Um, <clears throat> I'll never forget the way it made me feel, the way I, I laughed, the way that these characters are so complex and and they don't they don't change. They're they're themselves throughout, and it's super special. And I think that Joe Abercrombie is going to be one of those writers that is talked about a hundred years from now. So that was a hard one to put at number three, but it, it may move up eventually, but I, that's my number three right now. And I, and I love it. All right, guys, sitting at the number two spot for me is one I'm still reading. I think I'm on book number four. Um, actually I'm on book number three, the great, the dragon reborn. And you've probably guessed it by that name, the eye of the world by Robert Jordan, book one in The Wheel of Time. Such an epic and often spoke of series. And at first, because of the hype, 
I, I felt maybe that it was hyped way too high for this or that reason, but reading these books, there's a reason he'll go down in history as one of the greatest writers in fantasy ever. This series, one of the greatest ever. Um, it's evident in everything he's written that I've read so far, and I couldn't recommend it enough to somebody who just loves fantasy. Uh, it's also really good because it, it gives a little bit of a break to, if you're in the grimdark or anything more serious, it's not full of dirty language or um, sexual content or there's some violence, but nothing like something from a grimdark series would be. So that is my number two. Okay, so now my number one, book one in a saga trilogy series is one of the reasons it's my number one personally is because not only was it some of the first fantasy that I put my hands on and actually enjoyed for the first time because I was never a reader guys this is a, a passion that I just recently within the last couple years found and this book absolutely played part in that and it is James Rollins the starless crown that is the name of the book it's in the moonfall saga and like I said it's a it's a two book saga by James Rollins he's best known for his Sigma Force series it's got a lot of books but great awesome thrilling suspenseful full of very good technology and it's real technology um the ideas sometimes are are very um technical and they're just fun to read but going back to the book that i just recently showed you the starless crown it is a coming of age trope and it's well written in verse characters, diverse characters. Um, everybody that you meet, which there's a lot of characters in this book. And it's one of those books that you may have to stop and take a couple notes. And if the book's good enough, I don't mind doing that. This is one of those. So know that prior to picking this one up, if you're going to take my recommendation. Um, finishing this saga was kind of bittersweet because it's it's so good i i wish there was a million parts to this um but there's only two and i loved both the books the second book is the cradle of ice um <clears throat> so i absolutely recommend this this is my number one book one in a series saga i don't know if this one will ever change i think it you know i don't want to say never say never but this one's an important book to me um, it sparked my interest in now what is a huge passion of mine. So, yep, that's my number one. I did want to include this next book as an honor honorable mention. It is not in my top five, but I would say top six or seven. And it's very different. It's a mix between fantasy and sci-fi. And it's got, I guess it's weird. That's what I would say. It's weird. If you're in the weird kind of off the wall topics and ideas. There's some graphic content in it, I would say that, but it's very smart and an intellectual read. He's a very good writer. His name is Brian Catling and this is The Vor. It's a beautiful book. Um, unfortunately, the author did pass away. It is part of a trilogy. It's just called The Vor Trilogy and the second book is the erstwhile which is a made-up animal and the third book is the clover um is brian catling it's a dark historical fantasy is what they subgenre it add in i would say that's right but i think the biggest thing you should take from my recommendation of this book number one the vor by brian catling is expect weird to be in a, a, in the vocabulary in which you'll describe this book because it's definitely mine um, I don't want that to be something I'm saying is a negative thing it's not it's not a negative thing in fact it's a nice little break from I guess your run-of-the-mill fantasy tropes prepare for this to be weird number one it's kind of an intellectual read what I mean by that is I had to stop and look a lot of words up and I'm not afraid to admit some of the stuff was over my head. But once you look it up and you kind of realize why he said what he did, 
it makes sense, and you should definitely take the time to do so if you pick this book up and don't understand what you're reading. It's worth it, and that's why this was an honorable mention for me. The Vore by Brian Catling. I would like to thank you guys for tuning in to Beard of Darkness book reviews, and if you liked it and you want more of content and for me to continue to keep making these videos, I would love it if you subscribed, liked, comment below if you're familiar with these books. I'm sure a lot of them you are. Maybe a couple that you're not, but I would love to hear that. Um, please comment. And I'll also have some other, I'll have my Discord, which is growing and it's got great members. I highly recommend that you guys come join my growing community of well-topicked and well-discussed people. And it's a lot of fun. So I hope to see you there. And until next time, guys, stay imaginative.